Do you agree that there's a large amount of men who might view the word toxic masculinity as if it means that all masculinity is toxic or that masculinity is toxic i agree that is definitely an optics and perception challenge and the word sure. we should probably find better words to describe this so idea. why not just toxic individuals because again it comes from taking the tenets of masculinity to an extreme so for example there are some men who are like oh you know men should not cry like at all like if you cry you're weak like you're a pussy like you can't you can't do that um, if you do that, you're less of a man. Or, or guys that don't like a finger in their book. That's toxic. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. consider that toxic. Yeah. What? <laughs> disavow. <laughs> disavow. I don't think that that's toxic masculinity. No, that's, no. Um, that's my definition anyway. No. You're, so you're, yeah. just to be clear, your definition of toxic masculinity is they don't want to get pegged. Is that? Yes, basically. Okay, good. I'm glad <laughs> that. They're not open to butt help. stuff. That's definitely toxic. If masculinity. a guy's not open to butt stuff, that's toxic masculinity. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Um, disagree with that one, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I, I think there is something to be said for stoicism. And I don't think men should, I, I think it's, uh, here, let me put it from the, uh, like a context of dating. I would argue that if you were early on, fairly early on into a courtship process with a woman and you, and you cried, I would say that a lot of women would not be very attracted to that. Yeah, I think um, it's. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I think um, I think there's something to be said about like not being too extreme in general. But I think if a woman is like turned off because the guy cried in front of them, I, I think that's cry. horrible that's on the woman. I think she's a red flag. I love when men cry. I think it's so attractive. Me too. I think, I think, I think it's because it's like yeah. it's vulnerable. Vulnerable. Like, you have feelings. Yeah. You're a human. I love vulnerable like vulnerable men. I wouldn't say I love it, but it's a normal emotion. What's that like? Like you're human. This is What's cap. wrong with it's crying? It's total cap. It's, it's total not cap. cap. It's why really is that cap? I feel like there's why it's not cap. Okay, SpongeBob. We Tell all saw mom. SpongeBob. Okay, Pearl's 16th birthday. Who did she have a crush on? The boy band Boys Who Cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Women like Boys Who Cry. Why do you valid. think that's cap? I mean, you see it in, what is it, dramas too, or like media that's like for women. Like when the guy is being vulnerable with you and like crying, like, yeah, that's women so like attractive. That. Girls, girls, I love when a man is angry. I don't. That's interesting. Okay, that's different. No, I'm like, slap me in the face. Oh, okay. I'm like, beat me up. Okay. <laughs> I think in general, people aren't attracted to extremes, generally speaking. Well, yeah. So, you know, a woman might like it when a guy cries, but if he's having like a total like temper tantrum, like well, yeah, throwing like things around, the then or if he's just that's a too extreme. Bitch. That's <laughs> but I, I think there is like a level where it is like attractive. I feel like if women get the ick over a guy crying, it's not necessarily because he's crying; it's because maybe he's crying over something stupid. Yeah. And if it's the if the reason yeah. is stupid, then that gives you the ick. Women cry about it, stupid things yeah, too, though. I agree. I would cry it, about but, really stupid but, things. Same. Does that almost counter the point? Like you're saying, he's crying over something stupid. I mean. What what if it's not stupid to him? Yeah, I think that's yeah. A I think that's a red flag on the woman. Build a, an emotional connection in a relationship, and I personally, I think if a man is too scared to cry in front of a woman that he's pursuing, then he's not emotionally intelligent yeah. enough yeah. to be in a relationship or open. Yes, yes. not emotionally open. Yeah. Yeah. I would see it as like a man being emotionally stunted if he didn't cry in the face of like a death close to him, yeah. like a parent. I think that's or valid, but like. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of some other scenario where a guy would cry. I, I, I mean, mean, what is not like valid? a breakup or something? Like, lost I mean, his credit card. Normal. I'm trying to, I'm trying <laughs> to think. Of I'm how trying much to think of, of, of a scenario where, like, <laughs> really? oh, no. hmm. there's nah, nothing coming like to ache. me, but like, here's, here's an, another example with this vulnerability thing. Let's say you witnessed your boyfriend uh, get beat up. It was a one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't like he got jumped, but like somehow he got involved in the fight, and it was, it was mutual combat. So it wasn't like he got sucker punched, but like somehow he gets engaged in the fight, um, and he got fucked up, and you witness it. You can be a little turned. I think you're my gonna turn? lose no. attraction. Well, my first for instinct is I want to take why? care of my wounded soldier. Yeah. It's a, it's a sorry so for sounding chad con, but like, yeah, like, oh my god, person I love is hurt. Sophia, yes. you're, you see your guy get absolutely fucking scorched in a fight, and you see him in the fencing position. 
I don't want to make fun of this because people actually get fucking brain damage from, from the violent alter. But uh, do you guys know what the fencing position is? No. It's, yeah. You ever seen someone get f in a fight, they get yeah. knocked out? They're based, that's like significant uh, brain damage. They probably have a TBI. I I'm pretty sure if you saw your boyfriend get knocked out and he's in the fencing position, you're going to lose attraction for him. I disagree. No, no my mom and you start the fight. Come out, I would you might be so concerned. Mad. I think you'll be concerned for him. I, I think a woman would be turned fight. off if he lost the fight that he started. Yeah. If he lost the fight yeah. that he started, he's then fine. If, he's if he victim, didn't start the fight um, and it was basically not a sucker punch, but like. Qu okay, okay, okay. Question. Let's say uh, you're out at a bar, club, and some other drunk dude steps to you, and I don't know, the guy. I'm trying to think. He says something nasty to you or the something. The guy started the fight. Would you want your boyfriend to intervene on your behalf? No, because no. I feel like no. they're escalating it, and that makes it more unsafe. What if he. What if, okay. That's what a devil if, toxic, yeah. toxic masculinity right there. Is yeah. if a guy insisted on escalating that bar fight right there instead because of walking it's not away. Even to you. Because like, you're making it harder and less safe for us to get out of the situation, all in the name of preserving your like a male ego. Well, I'm not, yeah. I'm not because, advocating. Well, I'm not advocating that the the response to another man insulting your girlfriend is necessarily to start a fight. But that was perhaps the lowest level thing I could think of. Mm -hmm. There's perhaps other scenarios where it could be warranted for the man to uh, perhaps initiate a fight, or he might feel so compelled due to the disrespect uh, that perhaps the man touched you in some way inappropriately. Sure. Yeah, but perhaps that's for that the might woman be more to warranted. decide. It's not really up to my boyfriend if I feel disrespected or not. I feel like it's valid. It's like a protective instinct. Yeah, like but I the guy it. might have a protective like, instinct. I, think it's I mean, that's but fine. He but gets it's... scorched up in the fight or yeah. something. Like if you were with like a girlfriend at a club know. and like a guy like touched your girlfriend, wouldn't you What's like try to What's the video? Is it like her? Yeah, Joke. I would defend him. Like, yeah, it's just a protective. They bring the guy. He cries. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Uh, go ahead. Should we have something deeper? Like, should we go deep? The When's ball. the last time you cried? Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to cry now. Wait. No, my best pause it, here, Nick. So pause like... it. Pause it. Pause it. Can you make it a little bigger? Like, zo control zoom in. Do we have uh, to rate them work? before and after? We just yeah. Try it. <laughs> nope. Okay. It's, okay. Sorry. Actually, that would be Go a good game. Go back five seconds. Sorry. Go back five already. seconds. We'll just watch it like this. <laughs> He's trying to cry now. No, I lost my best friend this year, so it's still been a hard thing for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Like he made me think about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. 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 Can we give him that a makes hug? me like him more. That makes yeah. me want to give him a hug. Oh, yeah. He's so cute in my opinion. So like that literally makes me want to give him a hug. Wait, hold on. Just <laughs> quiet, quiet, quiet. It's hard. I'm not going to control it. That was my brother. For me. And then just like mildly uncomfortable, which is nothing against him. And then the bottom, it's not like I dislike anyone, I just, I'm very disinterested in a lot of people, <laughs> so I think it's just like, it's just like, you guys are cool. <laughs> yeah, but is that rating them just off of the fact that he just cried? What? Did they all cry, or? Wait, keep going, Nick, keep going. Okay, thank you, that's very fine, <laughs> like, yeah. Pause it, here. Damn. So the Sorry. physical appearance ranking they put him initially at most and then the final ranking five and i mean it's hard to it's so fucking small um i actually think facially speaking in terms of his appearance i think he's the most physically attractive Same. person well, i don't think there. that was the initial yeah. ranking but again this is cut. this is a edited clip so i and i didn't watch the full thing but that one women woman did she, say she was uncomfortable mm -hmm despite him being vulnerable in that situation so it, it appears to me that well, um it's actually i don't think it's even necessarily evidence of something that men are pushing on other men the patriarchy i actually think uh women tend to um shit what's the term for it uphold this is something that women uphold when men are vulnerable that has negative ramifications how on, do you break that cycle i don't know Maybe is it's it, something innate in in female women. Female nature. It I could maybe it's female nature. Disagree. I mean, you're you're not attracted to female. male weakness I or just displays aren't weakness. or to displays of male weakness. <laughs> I am. 
I disagree. I don't think emotions are weakness. I think there's actually, this is going to sound Perhaps strange. on an intellectual level, but. No, but also like there's, it takes a certain strength to be willing to be vulnerable in a way, right? To not be so upholded by like these constrictions that society has put on us and be like, no, like I am human. I have feelings. I am real. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a strength there. Yeah. I like guys that are open with their emotions. Like yeah. just mm -hmm. shows that they're a human being at the end of the day. Yeah. I feel like All you're right, actually okay. I feel like you're actually stronger if you're able to show your emotions Agreed. and not yeah. have to worry about other people's opinion. Oh, if I cry right now, are people going to look at me differently or are women going to find me less attractive? I feel like the men that are able to just cry when they feel like they have to or they feel like they need to are very strong because they're not worried about other people's opinion. Here, let me ask you guys a question. Um, and this is related, I guess, to vulnerability. Um, do you guys all like a tr uh, confident men? Yes. 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 Is confident one of, I, I often hear confidence being cited as one of the top or close to the top things that women find attractive in a man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me ask, if a, would you prefer a guy approaching you and he wasn't being creepy or anything, but he was Perhaps he stepped a bit nervous. His eye contact wasn't great. Maybe his voice was a little shaky. Again, he was being polite, Love. not creepy. But he <laughs> stepped to you. He stepped to you. His eye contact wasn't good. His voice was shaky. He wasn't, didn't come across super sure of himself. Again, not weird or anything, just Love. how I described it. Would you prefer that or a guy who just steps to you really confidently? Which do you prefer? The guy who approaches you confidently or the guy who's a bit nervous? Oh, honestly. Well, well actually, okay. I want to start here. Uh, Go ahead. Uh. I feel like that's going to be personal preference. Like well, what's some yours? Girls like shy guys. I like, I like shy, nerdy guys. That's what I I, I like. They like confident. Okay, what about you? But I like confident men too. Like I don't know how to. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But no, no, you're fine. Go ahead. Yeah, it's. I don't know how to explain that. But. I personally actually like the the guy who would be maybe more nervous. And the reason being is because that confidence territory can get into arrogance very, mm -hmm. very quickly. Mm -hmm. And that cockiness is especially unattractive to me. Okay. I should have specified in the same way that I specified that the guy who's nervous, he's not being creepy, but he's just a bit nervous or whatever. Mm -hmm. The confident guy is not being arrogant either. He's, he's confident in a way that you like a guy to be confident. Mm. Well, then, yeah, you're building in the, the answer that obviously everybody wants the confident person yeah. who's not too arrogant, but I'm okay. not going to be turned off by the person who may, might be a little bit shy or apprehensive about approaching me because that demonstrates to me that they are not entitled or they're not going to assume that just because I asked, obviously she's going to say yes, because I w if I even felt that for a second, that would be very unattractive to me. Okay. What about you? She just said it perfectly. Honestly. Oh my God! You guys she are really did. Okay, all right. What about you? I like both mm -hmm. a lot because I, I like <laughs> like if they're nerdy and like they're like um or even not nerdy if they're just like shy a little bit. It's like oh you're getting flustered because of me. Mm -hmm. like, like I definitely don't want like to <sighs> like I do agree with her, but it's also just like I I do like men that are like I mean yeah I wouldn't be opposed to like the person that was shy, but mm -hmm. what was my point? I feel like the, the thing that wins women over when a guy is being confident is not necessarily the confidence in and of itself. Like if you already have natural chemistry there and then he asks you out, that's something that you wanted and it's basically guaranteed that he was going to say yes. Like yeah. if, you, if you already found yourself attracted right, to a guy right. okay. and he was shy when he approached you, I don't think that woman is all of a sudden being like, well, I was really attracted to him, but then the way he asked me turned me off. I think I actually disagree point, because this, this almost counters our conversation earlier of, well, his looks, whatever, that's one thing, but he can talk his way into yeah, well my, my but, point, you but, can also talk your way out though <laughs> yes you can but like one of the ways that a guy can appear despite his physical appearance i would argue like if a guy's really confident that could be a a way to appear more attractive mm -hmm. to a woman yeah sure. or talking about something really you're passionate about but even if you're like, like World nervous of Warcraft, and yeah. yeah no yeah. honestly <laughs> like yes i think <sighs> what matters to me most is authenticity okay. so if you're All like right. yeah. you know naturally confident that's just who you are that will appeal sure. to me well, and if you're naturally confident. here let's move on what about you <laughs> um yeah you prefer so confident or you prefer uh, i prefer confidence honestly um i think it's very attractive when guys are like confident and they sure. like okay <laughs> oh, no, no, go ahead. Oh, no, it's okay. That was it. Oh, okay. Or something. Um, I feel like I make sure of both. I, I think naturally, though, I would prefer a confident guy, but then it's also like, oh, do you do this to every girl? Like, if they're mm -hmm. so confident and easy to walk up to me with all, like, 
they did it for full chest, you know? Like, they're probably doing that to every other girl as well. Mommy. So for me personally, I think uh, when a man is insecure, nervous, shy, okay. But when a man is insecure, especially me, because of what I do for work, that can get pretty dangerous, honestly. So I need a confident man. I need a man who... Um, that was pretty much my point. Yeah, yeah no, I need a man off, who so. knows that he's not going to be intimidated by mm. me and my lifestyle. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, they say one thing to the mean another. I don't know. Um, okay.